Hello friends. This is my sweetheart Lychee. And I'll just have a little bit of fun. I was just watching a YouTube video about um, a savant, um, a guy that has some great mathematical abilities. He memorized pi after three weeks of practice to over 2,400 places and he recited accurately in over five hours. Um, but um, I remember I paid $125 for this tree um, a little over 11 years ago in June of 2008 with um, Jack Swords when we made a road trip down to some Southern California nurseries. Um, bought it from Quang Ong. First I visited my friend David at Bonita Creek Nursery, but um, he suggested I buy from Quang because he wanted to grow his up larger before selling them. But it was a pretty good sized tree and um, it's grown well for me. Um, it's maybe um, 10 or 11 feet tall and it would be taller but I had an uh, upright branch break off on it when I one year I had a frost cloth on it. But I'll show you, it's grown well, um, and I don't really do anything special with it. Um, some people on an old Yahoo rare fruit group suggested that I not fertilize much because it maybe burns, but um, I do fertilize it some, and you know, it's got some new growth coming on it here. But it had lots of flowers for quite a few years, but I've just would get some little tiny fruits on them, and they drop off. You can see there's this is all blooms here here Lot, lots of flowers on it and I don't know why um, I don't get more fruit or, or fruit period um, but this year we do have our first fruit so it's not a very good investment um, that's for sure so here I have two sweetheart lychee and I had a flower and I've been waiting for them to get darker but um, they're, they haven't really changed. Maybe they are a little bit darker. Um, I saw Sokata Grove's YouTube video on Mauritius and Sweetheart and their Sweetheart were darker. And um, so I thought that these might get darker but, but then I saw another YouTube video of a Florida grower. So I'm gonna just try one of these now. This is my $125 11 year lychee crop. Let me try picking these one hand. I guess I should, I, I guess I'll just leave one on there. Um, that's all I wanted to pick right now anyway. Um, I probably should have picked it already, but let me do this one handed here. One thing, this variety, and it's got another name, I forget. I'm not a lychee expert by any means, but um, it's got another name, and there was maybe some controversy, someone just renaming a variety, and I guess um, maybe someone claims a trademark on Sweetheart, but I don't recall ever seeing any trademark actually being filed, so people can claim things, but they need to do some legal maneuvers to protect their rights too but I'm not doing any marketing I bought it as sweetheart and just continue to call it a sweetheart um, but this sweetheart variety is known for having um, a chicken tongue seed which is just a term for small seeds um, and so I'm just going to bite into half of it here it is ripe it's Probably as good as any lychee I've had because usually they're not fresh as this. So it is a small seed. So one idea I have is maybe um, the little fruitlets I've seen form and drop off, maybe we're never pollinated. And our arid climate here south of Sacramento is, um, you know, just maybe too dry for the pollen to survive. And I thought I might put um, a shade cloth structure over this and maybe even automatic misting to get closer to the natural environment but somehow these two fruits did hang on and develop for me 
and I've got um, a nice fresh lychee crop. Thanks for watching.